Now we're going to take a look at rules that govern how boats approach and round a mark. The whole purpose of these rules is to allow boats that are close to each other to round a mark in a predictable and orderly fashion while also trying to preserve the order that was established prior to reaching the mark. These rules are spelled out under Rule 18 and frankly can be a bit confusing when you simply read through them. We're going to step through these rules and try to give specific examples that will hopefully make this a bit easier to understand. The markroom rules do not replace the rules of right of way. They actually act together with the rules that we've already learned. From our previous videos, we know that the basic rules of right of way apply between a pair of boats and the markroom rules apply in just the same manner. In a markroom situation, we apply the basic rules of right of way and we also apply the markroom rules. It's very common for one boat to have right of way and the other boat to be entitled to markroom. The best of both worlds is to be the right of way boat and be entitled to markroom. And we're going to see how this can be important as we go through our examples. What exactly is markroom? From the definition section of the rules, we see that markroom is room for a boat to leave a mark on the required side, room to sail to the mark when their proper course is to sail close to it, and room to round the mark as necessary to sail the course. However, mark room for a boat does not include room to tack unless she's overlapped inside and to windward of the boat required to give mark room and she will be fetching the mark after her tack. Now this fetching the mark comes up in a couple of examples, so let's get that definition out of the way. Basically a boat is fetching a mark when she's in a position to pass the windward of the mark and leave it on the required side without changing tack. Now in this example, the course description specifies the mark is to be passed counterclockwise. This boat is fetching the mark. It's approaching the mark on starboard tack and will not have to tack to pass to windward. Now even though this boat is sailing directly to the mark, it's not fetching the mark. It must tack in order to pass to windward and in the proper direction. Now we're going to talk about this mark room restriction a little bit later in one of our examples. Let's take a look at the battleground where all this is going to take place. This area is called the zone and it is defined as a circle surrounding a mark that is equal to three boat lengths of the boat nearest the mark. Here we have the Tongass buoy and the zone. Now since we are only involved in one class racing at Sliff, the zone is a fixed size. If you happen to be racing somewhere where they race in mixed class, then the zone size may change depending on which boat is nearest to it. Three boat lengths on the IF is just about 25 meters. If you're using USB or even the donut distance portion of the world map, the distances are based on the distance to the avatar and not the bow of the boat. In practice, the actual distance, if pointed directly at the mark, is just about 30 meters. By definition, a boat is in the zone when any part of the hull is inside the zone. Now we're going to step through Rule 18, bearing in mind that we already know that mark room rules do not apply during the start. Mark room applies between boats when they're required to leave a mark on the same side and at least one of them is in the zone. Now in this example, both pairs of boats will have some mark room rules applying. They start to take effect when the first of the pair enters the zone. Why would boats not be required to leave the mark on the same side? Well, it's very possible that the course requires this mark to be passed twice, once in each direction. If the fleet stretches out, it's possible that boats will approach this mark on two different legs of the same course. In real life sailing, it's even possible that these boats may not even be racing the same course in large multi-fleet regattas. Mark room does not apply between boats on opposite tacks on a beat to windward. These boats are both approaching the mark on a beat to windward, which is basically just another term for close hauled. But don't confuse on a beat to windward with simply a windward mark. We're going to talk about that just a little bit later. 
between boats on opposite tack when the proper course at the mark for one but not both of them is the tack. Now our previous example seems like this 1B is not really even needed, but let's look at this same situation with just a little change. This boat is not on a beat to windward. It's overstood the mark and is approaching the mark below close hauled. This boat has to tack to round the mark. So in this case, 1A would not apply, but instead 1B would apply between a boat approaching a mark and one leaving it. This boat has reached the mark and rounded. As it does so, it goes from starboard tack to a port tack. Since mark room does not apply, it must remain clear of this approaching port tack boat, which now has right of way as the leeward boat. Now that we know when Rule 18 does and does not apply, let's look at how we go about determining which boat is entitled to mark room. The key term that we look for is whether or not there is an overlap and then when this overlap occurred. And we also need to take a look at the term overlap because it's going to take on a little different twist once we start talking about mark room. From a previous video, we learned the definition of clear ahead, clear astern, and overlap. As a quick review, between a pair of boats, if neither boat is clear ahead, then they are overlapped. Now this definition always applies to boats on the same tack, and in fact it is the central part of the second rule of right-of-way, Rule 11. From the definition section we find that it can also apply between boats on opposite tack when either Rule 18 applies or when both boats are sailing more than 90 degrees away from the true wind. We're going to see this most of the time is when boats approach a leeward mark. So let's take a look at that right now. Two boats approaching the mark, sailing more than 90 degrees below the true wind. If we apply the definition, neither boat is clear ahead. They are in fact overlapped. Now make sure you understand this definition before we start looking at the mark room rules. Since the key term is overlap and when it occurs, let's look at the possibilities and there are three. Boats can be overlapped when the first of the pair reaches the zone. A boat can be clear ahead when the first of the pair reaches the zone and there is no overlap. Boats can become overlapped inside the zone. Now we get to the heart of the mark room rules, and this is covered under Rule 18.2, giving mark room. When boats are overlapped, the outside boat shall give the inside boat mark room unless 18.2b applies. Now, while this might look like it would cover just about any situation, the unless really restricts the time that 18.2a actually applies. In fact, probably 90% of the markroom situations are going to be covered by this next section of Rule 18, and there are two parts to it. If the boats are overlapped when the first of them reaches the zone, the outside boat at the moment shall thereafter give the inside boat markroom. If a boat is clear ahead when she reaches the zone, the boat clear astern at the moment shall thereafter give her mark room. Now the key to both of these is the term thereafter. This means that even if an overlap that was established is broken or a new overlap is obtained, the boat that was entitled to mark room when the first of the pair reached the zone is still entitled to mark room. The only time that a boat which is entitled to mark room under 18.2b will lose its mark room rights is if it passes head to wind, basically attacks, or it leaves the zone. From this video, you have a basic understanding of the concept of markroom rules and are probably further along in understanding the ins and outs than you think. Review 18.2b and the expanded definition of overlap 
when approaching the leeward mark and you're good to go on close to 90% of the mark room situations. In the next video, we're going to look at some examples to increase your understanding. Until next time, dance like nobody's watching, you only go around once.